President Trump recently got in trouble. Well, he's always getting in trouble, but <laughs> he he got in trouble for this tweet. And the tweet is, after 52 years, it is time for the United States to fully recognize Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights, which is critical strategic and security importance to the state of Israel and regional stability. Absolutely the truth there. Now, a lot of people are saying that he does not have the power to do this. And a lot of people say that he cannot do this. Why is it important for him to recognize the sovereignty of Israel in regards of, to the uh, Golan Heights and uh, what's going on here with uh, these people getting mad? Well, uh, it's a great question, Jermaine. Uh, let me start with the second question first under Article 2 of the Constitution. Not only does the president have the authority, he's the only member of government that has the authority to recognize foreign governments because it is the linchpin in understanding that foreign policy starts with who are you talking to and who are you recognizing. So when the president says the capital goes from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, well, that's where it goes. That's his decision uh, as the executive. If he says, I'm recognizing territory in this place or that place, there's nothing anyone else can do about it other than call him bad names. Um, and in the case of the recognition of the Golan, they are historically and legally wrong. It's the president's sole authority to do so. Um, the people that are attacking especially the Europeans as an example, literally, and I mean this word for word, kowtow to what they believe the Arabs want them to do, whether it is right or whether it is wrong. Perfect example. When Trump said he was about to recognize Jerusalem uh, as Israel's capital and move the embassy there, he was making an important statement for a number of reasons. Number one, it's U.S. law since um, Bill Clinton was president that the capital has to be recognized as Jerusalem and the embassy has to be moved. But every single president, Republican and Democrat, has refused to do so. Having said that, the president of the Palestinian Authority, Mahmoud Abbas, came out and said, not only does the president not have a right to do it, Jerusalem isn't even Jewish, it's Palestinian territory and always has been, which is just made up baloney. Um, the New Testament and the Old Testament take place there. I mean, you know, there's archaeology supporting the historical, religious, and cultural uh, attachment of the Jewish people to this territory for 3,000 years, and every week they dig something else up. Uh, Palestinian, as a name, always referred to the Jews in the territory until about 25 years ago when the name was appropriated by Arabs who lived within the West Bank and they became quote unquote Palestinians. Um, it's not a cultural thing, it's a made up historical thing. So President Trump is well within his authority. Uh, he did the right thing. It was Syrian for less than 20 years and it's been Jewish for 3,000 years and quite frankly under international law, and I should make this point, a lot of people say, well, you have to return captured territory unless it's in a defensive war. Israel was invaded, they captured the territory, and they are rightfully not giving it back. Why? Well, it was historically theirs and was before 1948, many, many, many times throughout history. And number two, the Syrians were trying to murder all of them from the Golan Heights. So now there's no violence there. The Druze, the Arabs, the Jews, the agnostics, the Baha'i, everybody gets along perfectly, and there's no strife. And everybody there wants to be an Israeli citizen when given the chance to vote on their own future. Isn't that interesting? And I've been all over it. I've been through the Arab villages, and I've been through the Jewish areas, and I've been to the border from one end to the other, and I can tell you on the Israeli side, it's wonderfully peaceful. On the Syrian side, they're shooting and killing each other every day. And when I was there, I was watching it. They were shooting at each other, and I could see it from the other side of the fence, believe it or not. Crazy. Oh.
crazy, crazy. And um, th that's why they want to take down Israel. That is the main reason why. And one thing I know is that a lot of people are very excited about this. A lot of people are very happy. How is Israel taking this? Are people uh, excited over there about this move? Uh, the the recognition of the president of, of the two major things he's done in his administration uh, of late, which is the move of the embassy to, to Jerusalem and the recognition of the Golan as part of Israel. I mean, he may be the most popular man in the state of Israel today. When I mean the man, I mean President Trump, because He's recognizing the reality of the way things are without all the Arab and anti-Semitic propaganda, especially that the last administration took as uh, gospel for their policy. What President Trump has done is not only the right thing to do, I mean, legally the right thing, morally the right thing, historically the right thing, but it's made him extremely popular in Israel. and. The people there are big Trump fans, I assure you.